You may know Calabasas from a couple of reality shows that have skyrocketed the city's name over the past decade or so. But aside from all of these celebrities that have flocked to Calabasas, it is known for its affluent neighborhoods, scenic landscape, and upscale lifestyle. Calabasas is nestled at the foothills of the Santa Monica Mountains in the hills of the western San Fernando Valley of Los Angeles. And it offers a blend of natural beauty amongst the privacy that all the homes have as well. Historically, Calabasas has roots dating back to the Chumash Native Americans and was later influenced by Spanish explorers. The name Calabasas is actually derived from a Spanish word, calabaza, meaning pumpkin or squash. Speaking of that, Calabasas does host an annual Knights at the Jack pumpkin event every year that I do go to. I highly recommend it if you are in the Calabasas area in the October month. There's also several other pumpkin patches, farmers markets, and all of that going on in Calabasas, but Knights at the Jack, shout out to them. They do a great job with all of the lights, the walkthrough they have with all of the different areas where you can see unique pumpkin carving. The community is very tight-knit and family-oriented with excellent schools, safe neighborhoods, and a variety of recreational activities. The Commons at Calabasas is a very popular outdoor retail center that serves as a social hub from several boutiques. You may have seen it on Keeping Up with the Kardashians where they hang out a lot at. Sugarfish is a very popular sushi restaurant there in the Calabasas Commons. There's also a movie theater right next to where all of the fountains and the water features are. Next to one of my favorite cafes, La La Land, they have some of the best coffees around. If you haven't tried the French Toast Latte, I highly recommend that as well. Overall, Calabasas does offer a unique lifestyle, combining the tranquility of suburban living with the convenience and glamour of being very close to the heart of Los Angeles and right next to the 101 freeway. But in this video today, I'm gonna be talking about all things that Calabasas offers as I go into a map tour and just show you every little thing that I know from growing up and living in the San Fernando Valley for most of my life. And with that being said, my name is Darren Chris. I am a local real estate agent. I have a team out here. We help clients buy, sell, and invest in property every single day, along with my content, marketing, and videography team. We specialize in new construction, remodels, and hidden gems out here. But shoot us a text, shoot us an email, happy to help. But let's get into the map tour of Calabasas. Okay, check out the map, everything that you see within the red borders is considered the city of Calabasas. You have Hidden Hills just north, which I have done a driving tour of. If you haven't seen that on my channel, it is the most viewed video on this current channel because nobody really has ever explained the specifics and the streets of Hidden Oaks while driving around it with a GoPro on their car. So I did that and it got a good amount of views, a lot of feedback. I accidentally ran into Kim Kardashian in the video. Check that out. But let's talk about Calabasas here, just south of the 101 freeway, which is basically one of the biggest freeways that takes you all the way to Hollywood and the east side of Los Angeles, as you see here, goes all the way to Glendale, turns into the 134 actually, but then the 101 continues down to downtown LA. One of the most popular freeways and conveniently right next to Calabasas, so if you want to get to the Ventura County or go to downtown LA, easy to hop on and hop off from here. So looking at the map of Calabasas, where do we begin? If you exit right here, Mulholland, you see Long Valley, which takes you into Hidden Hills. And this is the Elko Shopping Center. We called it Elko Shop when I was a kid. Where you do have a lot of restaurants, there's a Maria's, there are, is Blue Jam Cafe, which is nice, check it out. Here's what the parking lot looks like. Just another outdoor retail and shopping center with mainly your convenience stores, the CVS's, whatever you'd need right there. And then let's take the street right here because this is where we are going to find everything that you need to see in Calabasas. It's not that big of a city and there's not a crazy amount to do. There's really not a nightlife. And if you want a nightlife, all you really got is right here, Sagebrush Cantina. If you like karaoke every Thursday night, they do karaoke apparently. I don't know if that's still a thing. It might be, but normally, there aren't too many nights where Sage Rush is going to be very popular, but across the street you do have a couple cafes. And if you go down Calabasas Road, this is where you'll find everything else. So I'll go back up to the map here. You got your coffee beans, you got your Baja Fresh, your Subway, you know, all your typical stuff. But then this is the Commons. This is what everyone wants to see because the Commons at Calabasas is the 
the, that's, this is the main, this is the talk of the town right here. This is what you're going to be doing, where you're going to be going. As I said in the intro there, you have your La La Land. It's a little outdated because right there is where the best coffee is in all of LA. You have nice water fountains there. You've got a, an outdoor, an, a movie theater here. You've got your typical Sephora's. There's a Lululemon. There are, there's a Barnes and Noble. Get your reading on. You know, Cause you have to, you gotta educate yourself too. You can't just be going to coffee shops every day without reading. And then you've got jewelry whatever else, but it's just the architecture of this building is really cool and Calabasas is a beautiful area in general, but this is where you'll be doing all your shopping, all your hanging out, Marmalade Cafe, shout out to them, fantastic. Crumble cookies, don't even show me that because that's some of the best cookies in all of LA. Um, your Ralph's, King's Fish House, whatever. This is, this is the main portion, this is the statement piece of the entire area of Calabasas. In my opinion, at least, there's not much else other than gated communities, as you'll see throughout. As you go down Parkway, Calabasas, this will lead you to one of the bigger gated communities, and it's right next to Calabasas Country Club. Let me show you the satellite version of that. The golf course, which is uh, not an easy golf course if you want to play it. But then you have all these different communities, Calabasas Park Estates, the Oaks. This is where a lot of the bigger celebrities live, probably the most prestigious community in all of Calabasas, the Oaks. And then you have that prestigious second gate of the Oaks, which I have talked about in previous videos. Um, it's very hard to get into. I've been into several times because of the real estate content and the clients that we have. Um, I mean, right here, this is what I'm showing you. Okay, so Prado de la Felicidad, that is one of the bigger streets. You're gonna see homes, 20, $30 million there back here. This is where, uh, and Justin Bieber lived on one of the streets here when he was egging the houses that I'm sure you guys saw maybe 10 years ago, but that's just what I think about when I think of one of the Prado streets right there. But I've been in several of these homes. And then you've got the first gate of the Oaks down here. You know, some of the cheaper homes, only about $5 million. Yeah. But if you want something more affordable, you're gonna be going over to the western portion of Calabasas in these areas. They're not all gated communities south of the 101. Let me actually drop my guy just to show you a little driving tour in some of these communities. And these are blurred out because people do want their homes to be private, especially when you're living in an area as well known as Calabasas. We are going up the hill here. You can get your typical homes right here. So this is a nice remodel. I'm sure that's still, it's still going to be around $2 million will be the majority of the average price point in Calabasas if you want something decently spacious and nice, but you will be getting views if you're gonna be up in the hills here. Check out these remodels. A lot of solid houses with a nice Porsche there in the driveway, even though this home is probably 1.5 million or so. And that is just a random street to show you there. Calabasas Park, you got Park South, Calabasas Highlands, Mountain Park. Mulholland Highway will then take you all the way down to the beach if you want. Topanga Canyon also will take you to the beach, but that's Woodland Hills area. So most of these are gated communities. Let me just see where we can take you. Calabasas Highlands, we can drop you off here and just show you some of these streets. This is a very unique street. Okay, is, how is the map even showing me this? Let's get out of that. But as I said, Calabasas is not that big. If you are driving down Calabasas Road some more, there's a lot of car dealerships. You will notice them if you're driving north on the 101, technically west to the Santa Barbara, the Ventura County area. You'll see the BMW, Cadillac, Mercedes, um, just everything, any kind of car that you want, you'd probably find it right here off the 101 going to Calabasas. But then that's not it of Calabasas. You have the Calabasas... You have more as we go west, but the Calabasas Stairs, let's see if I can get you a nice shot of that. This is one of my favorite hiking trails. Someone's doing their laundry right there, but look at these stairs, not an easy climb. It's all maybe, I don't know, a quarter mile all the way up to the top, insane views. Check it out at sunrise, highly recommended. Small hiking, dirt road, and then you got those stairs. Will definitely give you a good workout. Probably the one of the better stairs to climb in all of the San Fernando Valley. Oaks Community Center, and it's right next to the Oaks, so you're just bordering those homes of the Oaks. As you keep going on the 101, you get to the further west portion of Calabasas, which you have a couple smaller inns. These are majority condos here in Deer Springs. You've got the Avalon, apartment buildings, 
and these are, it's not that expensive to live in this part of town as compared to the rest of the Valley, Calabasas, and Los Angeles in general. Don't get me wrong, if you're living in Wisconsin, it's obviously a lot more expensive, probably doubled to live in an apartment here, but it is not the most expensive Avalon as there are many Avalon apartment buildings throughout LA. These are all condos. Let's check out what some of these look like. This is what Calabasas is, guys, suburbs, pretty much. And these are, okay, the, where I dropped us off, we've got single family homes. And these are beautiful homes. Uh, these are probably built a decade or two ago. And they, the upkeep looks very nice, depending on, this was 2015 from this version here. Check it out. This is a nice street, lots of parking, obviously. And these are just classic two-story single family homes in a nice area of Calabasas. With that being said, you are not that close to all of the, the commons or the retail uh, shops that you wanna be nearby, but you're still about less than 10 minutes away if you just hop on the freeway. You do have an Air One right here. I'll show you some of what this part looks like because you still have an Air One, which you're gonna be paying $15 for blueberries. <laughs> which I do not get my blueberries at, but I do go to Air One and sometimes I get their smoothies. It's a guilty pleasure of mine. It's $25, but sometimes it is worth it when you're having one of those days. Still got sushi spots, Jersey Mike's. So this is the other part of Calabasas that most people don't really talk to you about. Where you have, it's like the commons, it's probably the commons little brother is what we would call it here. You have a restaurant bakery, personal training, dry cleaning, a spa, uh, Rose's Garden Bar, never been to that. And then Phil's Coffee. I mean, what more could you need? I've just basically named every specific food genre you could possibly name. And so this is a nice area of still Calabasas. Cheesecake Factory. I mean, who doesn't love the good old Cheesecake Factory? There's a community center here. And see, this little area of Calabasas is underrated and overlooked, in my opinion. You can keep on going and there's just more to see in Calabasas, more hiking trails as we continue on into the Santa Monica Mountains. And that's when we lead into Agora, as you see Agora High School, very west of where we were. Keep going north, Malibu Canyon Apartments, Malibu Canyon, some more condos, gated communities, assisted living areas. And that was a majority of Calabasas. There's really not much to it, like all in all, let me wrap this up. You have the Calabasas Commons, you have Elko Shopping Center, you have all the retail, all of the car dealerships, you have Calabasas Country Club, all of the prestigious gated communities such as the Oaks. Check out my main channel for a video coming soon of me touring a $30 million home in the Oaks as well if you wanna see that. But if you have any specific questions, and here's Calabasas High School, it's more so east. Oh, the Las Villas. Oh, let me just show you a quick home. I love these homes on the lake here, if any of these can drop us off. There is a Calabasas Lake, which is beautiful. I love this area, and it's almost like, it reminds you of a portion of West Lake, even maybe parts of Marina del Rey. It's hard to tell from the driving map tours there, but from above, you can kind of picture what it would look like, and there is a swim and tennis center. A lot of these are smaller condos, but still single family homes on the southern portion, and that leads you down into where Calabasas High School is. Very great public high school. Probably the most high-end public school in all of Los Angeles. Can't even think of another one. That would compete when it comes to public schools. As you keep going uh, west, east, my map is all messed up now in my mind. That's where Woodland Hills would then cut you off of the Calabasas area. But with that being said, if you have any questions about Calabasas in general, Los Angeles, LA real estate, a specific gated community, I have done several other videos about Calabasas, some of the communities in there, and other neighborhoods in the Los Angeles County in the San Fernando Valley. And I showcase homes throughout the Los Angeles area on this channel as well. And I talk about many of the new construction communities that are coming up. So if you have any questions about those, if you are interested in real estate in Los Angeles, potentially buying, my team and I can help you guys out in the future. Shoot us an email, shoot us a text, 
text. As I said, my name is Darren Kriz. I have a real estate sales and marketing team. We help clients buy, sell, and invest in property every single day. Let me know if you have any questions. As I said about LA in general, as a native Angelino, I feel like I do know this city like the back of my hand. I feel like I've had some sort of experience in every nook and cranny that the entire San Fernando Valley and the city of Los Angeles has to offer. And thank you guys for watching. Hit the like button, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.